Hi, it's Rob Redding, America's Independent Voice, and this is Redding News Review on Restricted's podcast. I looked with great interest at this exchange between Trump and the reporter. Trump quickly backpedaled from saying you people to cleaning things up. But see, I'm not going to let him off the hook for his initial response. He also went on to say that the reason why the New York Times let her go, I had to do some research on her. The New York Times let her go is because she was bad. He tried to denigrate her, then all of a sudden she became a great reporter. I want you to hear the exchange. Because it's important that you hear the exchange that they had. Because I don't want to go any further until you have that. And when you have that, you'll have all the information that you need to have a conversation which is what we're going to do when we come back. Listen to this. You've said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting, they don't actually need. You said New York might need, might not need 30,000. You said it on Sean Hannity's Fox News. You said that you might. Why don't you people act? Let me ask you. You said some state. Why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to get you. My question to you is. Get you, get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. Don't Mr. Be President, threatening. my question Don't is... Don't be threatening. Be nice. Go my ahead. My question is, how is that going to impact how you fill these orders for ventilators or for masks? Your it's not views that they're, they're not, you're not going to It's not going to impact you at all. We're producing tremendous numbers of ventilators. We're doing a great job on it. Mike Pence, our vice president, has headed up the task force, which has been incredible, the job they've done. We have everybody in the White House working on it. We have everybody in the country is working on this in one way or the other. The fact is, we've done a great job of delivering. You've seen the biggest people in the business. I mean, there's nobody even close to this group of people. We had a meeting at 3 o'clock. It lasted for a long time. It was a great meeting with the generals and with everybody else, and they have done a fantastic job. I'm just saying this. If they're holding, let me give you one example. We sent thousands of generators to New York. They were put into a warehouse, a New York warehouse that happened to be located, interestingly, in Edison, New Jersey. They were given to New York, and we then went to other places, also giving thousands of ventilators. The people in New York never distributed the generators. We said, why didn't you distribute them? Now, you have to understand, they have New York people working in those warehouses. They knew they had them. So we said, why didn't you distribute them? I'm sh I hope they've distributed them now, but maybe they didn't need them so badly. But just so you know, we're all, you, me, everybody, we're all on the same team. You know, when, when journalists get up, and you're a journalist, a fine journalist, when journalists get up Sean Hannity. and ask questions that are so threatening, I was quoting you directly from team. your interview with Sean Hannity. Take a look at my interview. What I want to do is, if there is something wrong, we have to get to the bottom of it. When I hear face masks go from 10,000 to 300,000, and they constantly need more, and the biggest man in the business is, like, shocked. He knows all about the virus, by the way. He's not surprised by that. He knows all about it. He shouldn't be surprised. He should say, well, that's standard, because this is really a very tough disease. This is really a very tough virus to handle. OK, Mr. please, President, go ahead. My second Mr. President, my second question, my second question, my second that's, question that's is. That's enough. Thank you very much. Mr. President, my second please, question. Please, please. That's enough. Mr. President, that's enough. That's not fair to your other reporters. It's not fair. You had a long time, a long question. It's, if we have time, I'll get back to you for your second question. You hear the exchange with Yamachi Alcindor of the PBS NewsHour, and you hear her saying to him, I was just asking you a question about what you told Sean Hannity on his show. But what I cannot get out of my head, and I want you to hear the whole exchange, is how Trump backpedals on this because he knows how it's going to look when he shows his racist fangs. Because remember, he's the least racist person you're ever going to meet. Least racist person you're ever going to ever have in the White House. But even remember, as Dave said, the least racist is still racist. Okay? And so he started out with you people. You know, why, you don't, why don't you some, people act? So many people have missed this. I looked at Dick Prince's column from Journalisms. I looked at, you know, Black Press and all of that and how it was reported. And, you know, this comes on the heels of Kamala saying, I wish we had more black reporters who are reporting on 
the presidency of the United States when she was running, when Corey was running, she was referring back to the skiwi that many sisters greet themselves with uh, when they are running for office. And I did cover all of that, Kamala Harris or Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. I did cover all of your campaigns. I don't know who she's talking about, but this is indicative of the fact that we have many black journalists just don't want to do their jobs. They get tired. And I said, you can't get tired. You can't get lazy. I said, get untired. Go get yourself some, some sleep. Get your dexterity up. Do whatever you need to do. Splash some water on your face. Because that's what some black journalists do. They get lazy at the wheel. They don't want to call a spade a spade. They don't want to call them out. Because with Trump, we're left up to thinking this. When he says you people, is he talking about the media or is he talking about black people? Uh, and when we talk about Trump, this is the guy that refers to, to black folks as the blacks. Uh, you know, So you people is not that far from the pale. When you talk about Trump, we're talking about someone where his own attorney, Michael Cohen, said, he says they're not even smart enough to vote for me. Look at how they live. Talked about the black faggot that he didn't want to win The Apprentice. He's been rumored to use the N-word on the set. Not the N-word, but nigger on the set. I don't want to say N-word. I want to say the word that he has to use. So it's not out of just left field to say that you people is a reference that Trump is using in a racist way here. And I don't know why more black folks in the press aren't talking about it other than to say that Harris is right about other folks and Booker is right about other people when they say that we wish black folks were more on the campaign trail covering us. We wish black folks were there writing about us because all we saw were a sea of white reporters. And when we get the black reporter that wants to ask a tough question, she's asked you people, she's told you people by the president, and nobody catches it. And everybody just lets it slide. Oh, he's talking about the media. He's just talking about the media. You know, why, you don't, might, why don't you some, people... No, he's talking about race. I think he's talking about race. I'm here, and I'm the only one talking about this. Uh, and it's very disconcerting. Thanks again for listening to Ready News Review Unrestricted's podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right underneath my picture right here on YouTube to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click away, click away, click away. And you can also find me on Twitter at Rob Redding. That's at Rob Redding on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook at Rob Redding. That's forward slash Redding News Review. You can find me on Snapchat as well, Rob Redding. And you can find me on Instagram, Robert Redding, simply on Instagram, Robert Redding, on LinkedIn, and, of course, most other social media. But make sure you subscribe on this YouTube. Hit subscribe to get all the pressing news that you need to know. And keep coming to ReadingNewsReview.com for all of the pressing news you need to know. And to subscribe to Reading News Review Unrestricted.